The eagle that we chose or that I nominated was uh, Captain Victor Glover Jr., uh, NASA astronaut, uh, also naval, naval aviator. Uh, but the cool thing about him was that not only did he start out in the Navy and his story uh, about how he joined the Navy and, and how it kind of uh, fell into his lap, but uh, he also went to test pilot school. Um, so he got to test out a bunch of, uh, of, of new aircraft, new things, so he was certified in that. And then come to find out when we were actually interviewing him, he came here to Air Command and Staff College, so we, we had that linkage there. But then he also applied to be an astronaut, and he's been up to the International Space Station, done a bunch of spacewalks, uh, and he's also uh, part of the Artemis mission. Uh, so possibly being able to go back to the moon and Mars down the line. But his biggest thing when we interviewed him about that was, uh, even if he doesn't get picked, he being a part of that team at NASA, just going back to space was, was a good thing. He's actually uh, the first African American to spend a long duration up at the International Space Station, about 168 days uh, in space, uh, along with doing those spacewalks. He's very personable very open uh, and, and the stories that he weaves uh, about his life, about how he got there uh, w was amazing. His stories about space, because he spent a birthday up in space. Uh, he walked us through, uh, they have a mock-up at um, Johnson Space Center in Houston. He walked us through the whole uh, International Space Station. So he's like, here's where we sleep, here's how we do meals. Um, and then on special occasions, here's how we cook special meals uh, because we have all the different astronauts, here's the different training we go through. Uh, so it was just amazing. He was just very open and honest. Um, and I will say the one coolest thing that he actually um, allowed us to do, uh, we went back into the NASA vault and we actually got to touch and see uh, moon rocks. And they actually opened up one of the last containers from one of the last uh, moon missions. So uh, myself and Kim Atkins, uh, got to see something that not a lot of people got to see, so it was very cool. You know, after our interview, uh, he kind of gave some advice. He said, hey, you know, you're going into command. Here's my leadership philosophy, but even if, even though I'm in the Navy, here's some little nuggets, you know. Uh, again, just showing people grace. You know, not everybody um, wakes up in the morning saying they're going to mess up or, 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 or going to do X, Y, and Z, but even if you do make a mistake, if you do something, just show yourself a little bit of grace. Uh, show people grace and it'll take you a long way. And the other thing is just communication, being open and honest. I know myself that, that that's what I expect, not expect, but I ask from my leaders, uh, supervisors that I work for is, hey, open and honest communication. Tell me what you want and uh, we can go forth and uh, go with that.